Welcome, welcome everyone. My name is Ellie and uh, today we have again my friend Brad. Hi Brad. Hello. So today we're going to be talking about fun facts in the U.S. Ooh. Yes, because both Ellie and I might live in Europe, but we are both originally from America. That's right. That's right. Yeah. And if I remember correctly, Ellie, you're from Michigan, whereas uh, I was born and raised in Maine, but I consider myself from New York City. Mm -hmm. That's right. I, I grew up in Indiana, and then uh, as a young adult in my 20s, I lived in Michigan. So I'm kind of uh, half from Indiana and half my life in Michigan. So people mm -hmm. ask me, where are you from? I say Michigan, because that was the last place that I lived in the US. It's the same thinking with me with New York and also all my young life, when I was a kid, I wanted to live there. And then the person I am today is because I lived there. So that's why I say I'm from New York. Also helps that skyscrapers and taxis are more recognizable than lobster and maple trees. I hear, <laughs> are you playing an, a video? Nope. Okay. Just sitting here talking to you. <laughs> I, I'm, I, I'm hearing an echo somewhere. <laughs> there, I think it stopped. Technology. Uh, I know, isn't that great? Um, so let's, let's start with our PPT. Ah, I see what happened there. Okay. <laughs> In five, four, three, two, one, and you should see our screen. Yay. Yep. <laughs> okay, great. Okay. So <clears throat> capitals and flags and fun facts. We're going to start with, with Phoenix, Arizona. Mm-hmm. Have you been to Phoenix, Arizona? I have not. The furthest west I've been was uh, San Francisco for a research conference. Um, uh -huh. There's actually a nickname for the middle of the U.S. Uh, called Flyover Territory because so many people live on the on the east and the west coast. The people just kind of fly over the rest of the country. So uh, I, I also did that, unfortunately. Ah. Uh -huh. Um, I went to Arizona with some friends. They went golfing and mm -hmm. I stayed by the pool because I don't golf. <laughs> what I would do, I'd be in the pool. Hot. What? I said that's what I'd do, but I'd be in the pool. It was hot. Mm. It was very, very hot. Um, but it, it was a nice place. I, I don't think I could live there because it was too hot. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, I think I think if I lived in Arizona, I would definitely have to have a pool. Yep. Because it's probably just... okay. What do we have for a, a a fun fact for that? Okay, so it has the world's largest solar telescope. Ooh. Yeah. I, I like space. Yeah. I, it'd be strange if you didn't. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I don't like space. That's terrible. Oh, well, there actually are people who, uh, I forget what the word is, but there are people who are afraid of space because of movies like Don't Look Up, Deep Impact, or right. Titan AE. They're afraid that just something's going to come out of nowhere and kill everybody. <laughs> okay, okay. This is actual phobia. I, I, I forget the name, though. Do you believe in aliens? It depends how you ask me the question. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So since you're like, I didn't expect that. Um, if you're asking me, do I think it is possible that life exists beyond Earth? My answer is yes. If 
Uh, you're asking me, have aliens come down and landed and done unmentionable things to us? No, because there's no proof of it. <laughs> Either way, I doubt we'll ever know because of the vast distances. Okay. What about you? Aliens are a possibility. I think aliens are a possibility. I, I haven't seen it for myself, mm -hmm. but I think that it it would be strange to not assume or think that there aren't any other life forms out in this vast universe. Exactly. So uh, I would say that I am open to that possibility. Mm -hmm. um, exactly. And and some of the things that I've seen um, kind of hint to the possibility that they have, that aliens have been here. Um, but like I said, I since I don't have any uh, experience with aliens, <laughs> I'm just going to say that I believe that there is a possibility that mm -hmm. aliens do exist. Yeah, sure. Um, for me, as, as I said, I don't think any of the evidence holds up to scrutiny, but I think the possibility is there. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think because of the vast distances, we'll never know unless they land, in which case I really hope they're peaceful. Mm. Because we all know what happened yeah. to Col when Columbus visited the New World. True, true. <laughs> mm. Okay, let's look at Alabama, Montgomery, mm -hmm. Alabama. <clears throat> More space. Yeah, Yellowhammer State, heart of Dixie. It's home to the U.S. Space and Rock Center, mm -hmm. which is the world's largest space museum. I think they have like one of the old Saturn V rockets on display. Uh, which is like almost as tall as the Statue of Liberty, which would be like hundreds of meters. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I have not seen a telescope that mm -hmm. you know it, that's like at a. Uh, oh my gosh! I lost the word. <laughs> <laughs> To go see to see what the like this telescope here this this museum I I, I have not seen uh, one of those mega telescopes mm -hmm. um, I would like to I would like to see that sure sure I think that would be kind of interesting mm -hmm. California yeah I think that's kind of a place that's. Uh, if you're from California, I apologize, but I think a lot of strange people live there. <laughs> I went there and I, I experienced so many different things um, that I, I guess I was in sort of like reverse culture shock. And, <laughs> and, and it, it, the people there are very creative. They, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll say that much. Uh, some of the outfits and the clothing and and some of the things that they think is fashion, I think. Oh my God, I, I, I've lived in the country and I come to California to Los, you know, to LA and, and, and Hollywood. And I think, whoa, it's mm. just so much. The, the lights, the, the, the people are just like it's a bit overwhelming. You should try New York. That's all I'll say. <laughs> I, I still remember uh, walking down uh, Sixth Avenue in Midtown Manhattan and seeing a man naked except for a tutu riding a small pink bicycle going nah! Nah! Oh, no. every few seconds and he just drove right by like it was the most normal thing in the world so um I was yeah in, I was uh on a ferry going to Catalina Island and there was this woman that had a parrot you know one of those big uh macaws and and mm -hmm. it was just sitting on her arm. She has a cage for it, a, a kind of like a wicker basket sort of thing. And she sat down next to me and I said, oh, what a beautiful bird. What is its name? And she looked at me very, like, she scowled like, mm, she's, what are you going to do with that information? Uh, <laughs> nothing. Why didn't you ask me my name? Uh, okay. What's your name? <laughs> I'm not playing this game with you. And she got up and walked away. And I thought, oh, my gosh, what just happened? Mm -hmm. And this 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 other woman, she sat down next to me 
and she she was probably in her 20s and i i mouth sort of whispered to her don't ask about the bird <laughs> did she looked at me like i was the crazy one right she looked at me like well, okay did she take my advice no she then turned to the lady who had sat down next to her and said oh what a nice looking bird what's its name and the woman said what are you going to do with that information and then the woman looked at me like ah oh. <laughs> i was so tempted to say i told you so <laughs> again very very moderate compared to what i was seeing on the new york subway <laughs> Just doesn't phase me i'm afraid so so california is known as the golden state um it's known for silicon valley which i've always wanted to go to i think that's that's one place i'd like to see you see where google uh works yeah yeah and the sequoia national park um has some of the largest trees mm -hmm. yeah i think general sherman yeah. <laughs> okay, Florida, what do you know about Florida? Well, um, what I know about Florida is um, if you want to talk about weird, it's not California, it's not New York, it's Florida. Um, if, if people Google their birthday, like December 3rd, and then Florida man, magic will happen. That's all I will say. <laughs> I like Florida. Um, uh, they have something called the snowbirds, right? That's from yeah. where people from Michigan uh, move to Florida to live where it's warm. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a lot of people there that are from colder states living in Florida. So they're called snowbirds. Mm -hmm. um, I, I've also heard that Florida is called God's waiting room because of all the retirees <laughs> that. Oh, no. The, okay. I've not heard that one. Uh, <laughs> But uh, my exposure to Florida, unfortunately, is limited to Walt Disney World. Uh, ah. My parents took me when I was in fifth grade, and I really only remember that I was there. I don't remember too much else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, California has Disneyland, and Florida yep. has Disney World. I've been to exactly. both. Um, I can't say which one that I prefer. They're both um, quite interesting fascinating fun mm -hmm. enjoyable places kind well disney world though. i think is probably more expansive right because it has epcot and right. and uh, the studios and the um and was it animal kingdom or whatever it's called right. the wildlife park right so. they also have a uh, adult island where they it's an island where you can drink and stay up late mm -hmm. and party and whatnot Okay, some fun facts. Uh, it's called the Sunshine State. And I don't know if you, it, it's the state is home to the only living coral barrier reef. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> have you ever been snorkeling? Uh, I have not. A couple of my students really enjoy it. Um, one in particular lives in Israel and she keeps talking about how she goes snorkeling uh, off the coast of Israel. Um, I might want to do it someday, but uh, I haven't had the chance yet. What about you? I have, uh, ah. but it was in it was in Nicaragua. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So, but yeah, I, 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 it was amazing. It, it when you snorkel, it you see color so vibrant it almost looks like a cartoon. Mm -hmm. I can't explain it. You have to experience it. When you when you look at things underwater, those colors are just vibrant, and it's it's very difficult to explain what that experience is like. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. The, the videos that I've seen um, don't do it justice. It just it's just so incredible. Mm -hmm. Now, we do have some people that are listening or watching to this uh, live stream. And if you have any questions, we can answer those at the end of the session. So if you put 
uh, your question in the chat box. I'll be happy to help. If you're watching it on the replay, put it, post your question in the comment section and we'll be happy to answer those questions. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about Georgia. Yeah. Atlanta is the capital, Atlanta, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Now, I've been to Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, I used to work for Habitat for Humanity, where volunteers build homes and then sell, it, sell these homes to families um, with low income. So it, mm -hmm. it gives them an opportunity to be a homeowner. They're, these homes aren't given to them. They actually have to help build the home and they actually pay for the home. Um, but it's at a reduced rate. Mm -hmm. And Atlanta, Georgia, uh, that's where Habitat for Humanity's headquarters are. Mm. Afraid all I know about Atlanta is that's where The Walking Dead took place in the first few seasons. <laughs> that that was very popular here in the Czech Republic. So sometimes my students would talk about it. But uh, I do know Coca-Cola. I know it very well. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize that's where they... Yeah, they, they, that's for me was a, the interesting fact. I didn't realize that that's where that Coca the it was the birthplace of Coca Cola. Yep. I didn't realize John that. Pemberton. Yeah, right, right. So that that I didn't know. Mm -hmm. It's also called the Peach State. They have great peaches there. Mm -hmm. Ah, Illinois. <laughs> I love yeah. Illinois. Uh, Chicago is my one of my favorite cities in the u.s i i i loved living there i loved well i lived in the, the suburbs outside of chicago but mm -hmm. i loved uh going there and it, it had everything to offer it had theater it had different uh types of cuisine it it to me was the is the best city and i haven't been to new york so i can't say mm -hmm. that i've been to all the cities but i do i do like chicago i unfortunately never went to chicago uh my father did a couple of times and he, he seemed to like it uh I, I know that he he went there for business and he actually his office was at the sears tower which he thought was really cool and what he thought was even cooler was he got to stand on the on the floor and I forget which floor, but he was looking out over the lake because it's on one of the great lakes and he could see like thunderstorms in the distance because he was so high up and it was like, he was a, above the thunderstorm and he thought that was pretty cool. Ah, right. Also fun fact for LE students. You'll notice the capital is Springfield. Springfield is one of the most common city names in the U S that's part of the reason why Matt Groening put the Simpsons in Springfield because he wanted to emphasize it's just small town America. And there was some argument whether or not that that was the same Springfield. So yeah, there's a huge debate about where Springfield is. Um, but they purposely made jokes that it's impossible. Like, look, you can see Maine and Texas from this mountain. <laughs> um, but my father was very clear that he thought it was on the West Coast because he used to do radio in the 80s and Springfield's radio stations start with K. They only do that if they're west of the Mississippi. Uh, so if they're east, they, they start with W. The other thing he pointed to was that several episodes have Homer upset he's in church when there's a football game. That would only make sense if there was a big game being played on the East Coast. So he said... For those two reasons, he thought it was on the West Coast. Uh, and Matt Groening himself is from Oregon, so that would fit the, the theory, right? Right, what you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it would fit. So the nickname is Prairie State or Land of Lincoln. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The first oh, World's oh, Fair, the yes. First Ferris wheel. First Ferris wheel. Mm hmm. Is that is that the Eiffel Tower in the background? Well, yeah, it looks like yeah, that's what I think it is. <laughs> okay, I don't think that's in uh, Illinois, Ellie. No, but <laughs> but it was an old it was an old picture. Okay, fair and enough. And I I Ferris wheel, yeah, I get it. It was Ferris wheel, and that's the one when that's the picture that came up, and I just grabbed it. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe they did move the Eiffel Tower. I I wouldn't know. So. Yeah, I know. But I, I couldn't find the 
I, I just grabbed this because it was an old picture of, of an old Ferris wheel. It's fine. I'm just teasing. Yeah, I know. I know. I was going to say that this is this is not the the Ferris wheel that was there. <laughs> I was trying to find something that looked old. When I looked it up, they they gave me all these newer ones, and I thought, no, I mm -hmm. want this black and white. I wasn't even thinking at the time when I put it in right. the, the program. Of course, the... now I'm thinking of a, a joke from Futurama where a bunch of the world's great landmarks are on a beach, and Fry says, "Wait, Mount Rushmore and the Leaning Tower of Pisa? I didn't know they were both in New York." <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, same thing when I was in Vegas. I'm like, oh, I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Indiana. Now we're in Indiana. Now when I was a, I, I grew up in, actually, I actually was born in Fort Campbell, Kentucky. I was born a, on an army base. I'm an army brat. <laughs> ah, okay, yep. Uh, but growing up, I lived in Indiana. I lived in Michigan City, Indiana, and then... When I went to university, I went to the University of Michigan. So when people ask me where I, I'm from, I usually say Michigan because that was the last place that I lived. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the nickname is Hoosier State. Mm -hmm. And of course, there's the Indianapolis 500. Um, I'm not a big fan of NASCAR, but... Me neither. But I, I do find it amazing at how many people love NASCAR. Yeah. And and it's a big thing in 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 in, in, in Indiana. Oh yeah, definitely. And, and it's a big thing there. But would you go if you had the opportunity, would you go to the speedway? Yeah, it'd be one of those things where it's like I'd be going more for the experience and to say that I've done it than I actually want to go see it. <laughs> you know, uh, um, yeah. I'm not really interested in sports. I don't like being in big crowds. So otherwise, you know, maybe if it was free and somehow I was in one of the like luxury boxes, maybe. But um, but otherwise, no. What about you? Oh, Absolutely. I, I would love to go. I would stay far away from this area, though, where the fence is. <laughs> I've seen some terrible action. Accidents. Well, free, free, free souvenir. <laughs> yeah, 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 tire. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly what I was thinking. The tires that fly over the yeah. Black eye. Yeah. <laughs> no, I've seen some USA. Some, I've seen some <laughs> scary videos with. Oh yeah, I have too. There. But that's part of the. I get. I think that's part of the the appeal right the experience yeah it's like like uh like uh, the comedian george carlin said about fires it's like there's always part of you who looks and says but i don't want them putting out my fire <laughs> kentucky i lived mm -hmm. in kentucky for cut for what okay about a year yeah, so you, so you must have gone all over the country being an army brat then. <laughs> well, um, I lived in Kentucky just before I started going to university. I actually went to uh, University of Kentucky for uh, a summer mm -hmm. and and to take an algebra credit because I hated math and I didn't want oh, to I did be... Too. And, and I didn't want to have to take math going into university. And I needed a math credit um, because my math on my SAT was really bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did quite well on the SAT. I did okay. I mean, it wasn't any, you know, no Einstein or anything, but mm -hmm. um, math has always been my weak, my yep. weak point and, Mine and my too. weak spot. Um, so I, it was sort of like, testing the waters if I could go to university because I wasn't sure I wasn't sure I didn't mm -hmm. I, I was an average student so I didn't think I was university material and I needed a math uh, credit and I thought well I'm going to take algebra and see how it goes and and it, actually I'm glad I did that because it gave me the the confidence to to uh, to attend Central Michigan University and that's where I I went to university Mm -hmm. Where I actually ended up is at Central Michigan University. Yeah. What do you think about the accent? They have a southern accent. 
Um, I mean, I think I don't have much comment on it either way. Oh, I, was, okay. I, was just, I was just about to say, sorry, I don't have much to say about Kentucky. Oh, well, I like their uh, fried chicken, but otherwise, <laughs> Kentucky fried chicken. That's right, Colonel Sanders. <laughs> uh, uh, it's called the Bluegrass State, <clears throat> mm -hmm. and and it's the birthplace of bourbon whiskey. I used to mm -hmm. be a whiskey drinker when I was in college because it made me feel like an adult, like like all grown up. I don't mm -hmm. know. <laughs> but uh, now I, I, I can't stomach it and I don't drink I don't drink hard liquor anymore. And, mm -hmm. and but back in the day when I was in university, I liked whiskey it, it just a little bit. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't my drink of choice. It was more of a I'm all grown up now and I can drink whiskey. <laughs> I don't know why I, crazy things we do when we're in our twenties. <laughs> I, I'm I'm boring. I'm a teetotaler. I don't drink at all. Um, <laughs> it's because I don't like the taste. And I remember my sister asking me, "Why are you going to the one country where everybody drinks beer all the time?" And I'm like, "I don't know." Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I went to um, that oldest the the oldest pub in Prague there, and they only right. serve beer. Yep. I said. Well, could could I have a tea? No, beer. Well, could, could I have a glass of wine? No, beer. Yeah. <laughs> beer. That's all they served was beer. You could, I couldn't even get a glass, a, a Coke or a Pepsi, which I don't mm. drink soda, but they kept saying beer. So people, they, they got. I I bought a small half pint of beer mm -hmm. just to be social, but it was the strangest thing. Mm -hmm. Drink mm -hmm. beer. Uh, they also have um, the Kentucky Derby there in, in Kentucky. And I did go to that uh, once. I did go to mm -hmm. the Kentucky Derby once. And, and again, it's kind of same with, with racing cars. It's like, ugh, those poor horses. <laughs> they also have dog races, too. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, uh, again. Hmm, so. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, what, do you, what do you think? My students, people watching out there, what, what do you think about horse racing, dog racing, car racing? Let me know. I'm just curious. Oh, Maine. Yes. Uh, what happened to Louisiana? Did we lose Louisiana? I guess we did. Never forget. Uh, well, um, Louisiana is an interesting state. It is where you can find New Orleans and you can enjoy jazz. Do you like jazz, Ellie? Love jazz. Yeah, love jazz. French. I love, the French Quarter is quite Gerald. lovely. Yeah, yeah. I've never been, but I'd like to go. I haven't either, but I heard it's quite lovely. So, yeah, Louisiana, you are not forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, so, yeah, this is uh, the state that I was uh, born and raised in. So, I was born in a city called Portland, which is the largest city they have, even though it's small in and of itself. But uh, I grew up in a quote unquote suburb called Wyndham. And so, you know, I spent the first 18 years of my life in Maine. Fun facts? Well, I mean, uh, I could tell you, for example, that Portland Headlight is an iconic uh, lighthouse that's just outside of the city of Portland. And it was commissioned by George Washington. Oh. Yep. Okay. And its motto is Diraigo, which in Latin means I lead. Hmm. Um, and uh, although it is on the East Coast, it's not one of the first 13 states that joined the U.S. because it used to be part of Massachusetts until the Missouri Compromise, which uh, they split Massachusetts in half and made it a free state to balance out Missouri being a slave state. Hmm. But yeah, uh, the, as as your slide shows, Maine is most famous for pine trees and Acadia National Park, which I've been to, and it's quite lovely. Ah, okay. Have you been to Maine, Ellie? No, never been. Oh, okay. To Maine. But I heard it's nice. <laughs> it's okay. Michigan, I know about. Lansing's I bet you do. Capital. Yeah, mm -hmm. Lance is the capital. I, like I said, I, I went to Central Michigan University. 
<laughs> it's called the Great Lakes or the Wolverine State. Um, yeah, so we, lots of fresh water, lots of fishing. I, I fish. Um, I haven't fished in a while, but I, I enjoyed fishing. Uh, been to Mackinac several times. I actually have a, a slight fear of the bridge. <laughs> Is that the Ambassador um, Bridge or? No, that's the Mackinac Bridge. Oh, the Mackinac. Okay, yeah. Yeah. The, there's a big uh, fight uh, between whether Mackinac Bridge is the is the better bridge uh, compared to the the Golden State the the. the you mean the Golden Gate Bridge? Golden Gate Bridge. I, I okay. as soon as I said it, I knew it was wrong. The Golden Gate Bridge. Mm -hmm. uh, there's well, been a. Well, that, well, that's okay. They're both terrible compared to the Brooklyn Bridge, so it's fine. <laughs> uh, well, I have a slight fear of this bridge because it's quite long, and mm -hmm. the road is, it, it seems narrow when you're driving mm -hmm. on it. And if it's a windy day, because it's a suspension bridge, it kind of sways sometimes. <laughs> Just uh, Ellie, have you looked up a bridge called the Tacoma Narrows Bridge? no yeah i don't think you want to you'll never want to drive on a bridge again okay <laughs> they nicknamed it gallop and gertie oh oh, oh. And, and talking in the past tense because it collapsed in a windstorm <laughs> like if, if ellie students have ever seen a bridge like undulating wildly going back and forth wildly and then falling in the water that's the tacoma narrows bridge that's why I have a slight fear of this bridge. Yeah, my, my mom I've been has on it a, many times, but my mom has a fear of bridges too. Um, there's a bridge in in New York, the Manhattan Bridge, that actually you can see it if you do um, like um, slow motion camera. You can see it twisting when the subway goes over it. And she said, "No, you don't get. You, you can never be on that bridge. You don't do it." <laughs> well, if I want to go to Brooklyn on the subway, that that's how I have to do it. So right, right. <laughs> They actually have people that will drive your car across the bridge. Really? Yeah. Okay. Like, it, like if you're not comfortable driving on the bridge and you want to go to Mac, you want to go to Mackinac Island, for example. Um, I, when I went, they had drive. They had a person there that would drive your car, um, and then they would get a ride back with someone to go back, you know, back and forth, and. Uh, I don't know if they still offer that service, but when I was living there, they they had that service. They had so you would be a so you would be car. a passenger on the on, in the in your own car then, right? Because you're not doing this. Yeah, right? yeah, but um, you could do this. You can't do this sure, when you're driving. The, <laughs> sure, the effect is still the same though. You're still on the bridge and you're still doing. But okay, I I get it. I guess. Yeah, but you can you can do this going. Okay, are we ah. there yet? You know, you can do that. You can't mm -hmm. do that when you're driving. <laughs> True, yeah. <laughs> Minnesota. Yeah. St. Paul, Minnesota. Minnesota, going up there, eh? Yeah, the accent. I did a video on uh, some American accents, mm. and uh, I'll post the link in the description box below. That was a fun video to do. It took me almost a month to uh, find different accents and things. I wanted to do an accent for each state, but mm -hmm. it was an it was an impossible task. Um, Maine has a very distinct accent. It does. Um, and I, I know that people are surprised that I don't have it. Because I have more of a general New England touch of New York City accent, depending on the word I say. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the North Star State or the land of 10,000 lakes. <laughs> mm -hmm. It actually has more than 10,000, but I don't. I, I don't know why they've named it 10,000 lakes. If there's more than that. Maybe, and, maybe uh, when they coined it, they had only counted 10,000 lakes. And then a sonographer oops. came in and said, oh, we have one more. And they just went, meh. <laughs> <Yeah. Oops>. <laughs> <laughs> it's also home to the world's largest ball of twine. Mm. I mean, why? <laughs> why not? Why, why not? Why not? Who started it and why? Because they wanted the world's largest ball of twine, obviously. Yeah. When I was a kid, um, 
people would or kids would do rubber band balls, make yep. balls with rubber bands on them. Did you? Oops, did you do that too? I remember it. I remember doing it, but you know, <laughs> nothing that big. But I'm sure. I'm sure there's also world's biggest rubber band ball somewhere in America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I twine. It just seems like an odd thing to collect. Oh, why not? It almost sounds like it. Someone started it as a joke. Probably, yeah. <laughs> And what's funny is they have a gable over it, a yep. roof, to protect it. Okay. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Got to protect the twine. Nevada, Carson City. Yeah. Silver State. Vegas. Vegas. Las Vegas, Nevada. Mm -hmm. Which I've never been to. I have. I've been to Las okay. Vegas a couple of times. Okay. Yeah. It definitely, definitely has a, a nightlife there. Lots of interesting yeah. people there as well. <laughs> um, I've seen videos. It's a, yes, it's a fun city. It's it's if if you like nightlife, it's a fun place to be. Um, they're always adding things. They're adding new shows. They're adding. There's a roller coaster, uh, which I, I thought that was kind of strange to have in a city. Um, Elvis impersonators on oh, yeah. every street you you, mm -hmm. you find one. They love Elvis there. My uh, two of my student, uh, one of my students married his wife in Vegas with an Elvis wow. birthday. And I said to him, "How does your wife feel about this?" And he said, "It's <laughs> all her idea." And I okay. said, "You hold on to that woman. She's fantastic." <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. She she showed she knows what's important in life. She got a bunch of uh, wedding presents, including the giant Lego Millennium Falcon, because uh, she likes Star Wars. And the only thing she was concerned about being stolen was that, not the uh -huh. giant pile of money, not the appliances, the Lego Star Wars set. And it's like that woman has her priorities right. Yeah, she sure does. <laughs> Also, Lega, uh, Vegas, you can find the largest piece of the Titanic that's been salvaged. That's part of a permanent exhibit uh, in Las Vegas. It's uh, oh. a chunk of the hull. Wow. Okay. Yep. That's interesting. Which is probably the only reason I would go to Las Vegas to see that. <laughs> I, I did try gambling a little bit. I, mm -hmm. I went in with $5 and came out with 10 Wow. So, so I... Uh, my friend said, well, you've got to keep, you, you keep your five and now you, you mm -hmm. keep gambling with the five that you have. I said, no, I go and get a free pizza. <laughs> House always wins. That's what they say about so Las Vegas. Free pizza. Yeah. There's I, no I way I would trust myself in a casino. <laughs> I got a free pizza. Nice. New ah. York, there's your state. Yes. Yes. That's the uh, so I lived there for seven years, two years as a um, graduate student and five years in, in Manhattan, four of which were on my own. And I'm quite proud of that. Um, but New York is the state I consider myself from, even though I was born and raised in, in Maine, because like you, last state I lived in and I always wanted to be there. And the person I am today is the result of that. Also, I noticed uh, what happened to New Jersey. Well, I had to cut some of these back. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. So, well, I mean, <laughs> we only I have am an hour. Being from New York, I am obligated to point out that New Jersey is lame anyway, so it's fine. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had to I had to cut back some of these things because we only have an hour. And I know that okay. when I posted the short, I said all 50 states. And then when I started putting this together, I thought, oh my gosh, this is really long and it's quite mm -hmm. lengthy. So I needed to cut back some things. I, but I kept New York. <laughs> good, good person. I kept New York. So I, 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 I did, a, Sorry, I did a short on the states and capitals, and it's a short video. It's a, it's one of those uh, shorts. And that's going to be next or this Wednesday. I think it's going to show up this Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So I had to say the 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 states 
in in a minute under a minute <laughs> that was not easy mm. um so that's coming that's that's dropping on wednesday how's that mm. dropping <laughs> on wednesday so that new jersey so, doesn't feel too left out i can talk about uh one story that i like saying because i used to work as a tour guide in new york city and that is who actually owns the statue of liberty so Technically, she and Ellis Island are on the New Jersey side of the harbor, but you don't connect them with New Jersey, you connect them with New York. Right. And they kept arguing over this for centuries until <laughs> finally the Supreme Court steps in and says, all right, we're going to settle this now. So they go into the records and they find out that where the statue will be stands today used to be owned by a Dutch man. And that, of course, becomes New York. So the Statue of Liberty belongs to New York. What about Ellis Island? Well, Ellis Island is much closer to New Jersey. So they said, OK, that New Jersey gets that, except for this tiny part of land that that same Dutch guy owned. Well, that's where the Immigration Museum is. So New York gets the only part that is interesting on Ellis Island, too. So the only territory that really belongs to New Jersey is the landfill part of Ellis Island, the landfill of which is from the New York City subway system. So, yeah, that's all that New Jersey really owns. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Poor New Jersey. <laughs> OK, uh, it's the nickname is the Empire State. Yep. And it's known as the city that never sleeps. Oh, yes. I remember where I could get uh, pizza at 2 a.m. on a Wednesday if I needed to. 2 a.m. pizza. <laughs> New York, baby. <laughs> yeah. Ohio, Columbus, Ohio. I've been to, I've been to Ohio. It's called the Buckeye State. Mm -hmm. um, the Wright brothers, Orville and Wilbur. Mm-hmm. Yeah, aviation. My dad's a pilot. His wife, Nikki, his wife's a pilot as well. Um, my dad wanted to teach me to fly, but I I passed on that. And everyone mm. that I say that to asks me, why? I, I just didn't have any. I, I'm, I'm interested in planes, but not interested in flying one. Sure. Just yeah, I I can get on a plane, but I'm happy yeah, when it gets too. back on the ground. That that's how I look at it. Yeah, I, um, I, I enjoy flying. I, I I like to fly. It's not a problem, but mm -hmm. to be in control of it, that I don't know why. I just kind of thanks, but no. <laughs> Ohio has also given uh, America a lot of its astronauts, including Neil Armstrong. I, I heard that right. like it's the largest state amount, like people from that state, and the joke is. That's how bad Ohio is because they're just trying to get as far away from it as possible. <laughs> trying to fly as fast as possible. Exactly. Pennsylvania, Harrisburg. Yep. I lived there for four years as a college student. I went to Susquehanna, which is in uh, Snyder County. And it's not too far from Harrisburg, actually. Mm hmm. What? Whoops. <laughs> okay, so what are some fun facts? There is a town called Centralia, which has been on fire for like a very, very long time. And it's because it's an underground coal fire that has just been smoldering. But it's reached the point where it's just so toxic and hot that people can't live there. So they evacuated the town. And it's still there, It's but but nobody lives there anymore. Huh. Wow, and of course, the other big thing with Pennsylvania is that's where the probably the most uh, famous battle of the Civil War was fought, a small town called Gettysburg. Gettysburg, yeah. <laughs> uh, and I've been to the battlefield. Have you? Yep. Is it is it illegal to take a metal detector and, and go across the fields with it? I remember that the guy who organized the trip, because it was like, it was myself, him, and two other coworkers from our job in New York. 
he organized it and he said if you see anything just don't touch it so i would assume yes or that that you know of course it is a grave site right um they have that i know they have a, a, a rule of law at one of the universities that states you cannot go digging for things and i yeah, didn't know no was... i mean it's yeah uh yeah no no i mean it's it's uh i would assume it's true if everybody's saying that uh mm -hmm. because i think international law is that like it rem like a, a sunken ship or a battlefield the stuff in it like remains the property of that government right so so like for example uh the bismarck was a famous battleship in world war ii even though we don't like talking about that particular german government that ship is still the property of the federal republic of germany as a war grave so mm -hmm. i would imagine the same thinking is in place uh for for gettysburg yeah so um i definitely didn't see anybody doing that but i remember the guy who organized it being very clear don't touch anything don't take anything right right have you seen the the liberty bell i have not uh i've been through philadelphia but i did not see the liberty bell i have and it was a lot smaller than I expected. I thought it was going to be this massive bit. And it's just, mm -hmm. it's not small. I mean, it's still quite a good size, but I guess in my mind, it was going to be this really big thing. And it, and it wasn't that big, really. Yeah, no, I, I, in the film uh, Cloverfield, when the Statue of Liberty's head lands in the street, the trailer shows it as actual sized, but mm -hmm. everybody, was so like no no she's not that small what what are you talking about they had to make it 50 percent bigger than it really is so that it would fit I think it's big exactly exactly yeah 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 wouldn't, wouldn't, but it just it surprised me I thought, I thought it would be bigger america is full of surprises <laughs> texas austin texas deep in the heart of texas oh no <laughs> no okay that's I all i know about song. that song so you're fine Lone Star State, known for its vast size mm -hmm. and independent spirit. Because I think oh, uh, oh, yes. the U.S. in general is independent. But Texas takes it to another level. Let's just say yeah. that. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be diplomatic and just say it takes it to another level. Um, but a drink it's also known for, of course, is Dr. Pepper. Oh. Soda. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh yeah, yeah. People are very proud of Dr. Pepper in in Texas. Yeah, yeah. I didn't like Dr. Pe Pepper. I don't like cherry, and it, <laughs> it reminded me too much of a cherry Coke. And I, I, I I'm not a big fan of Dr. Pepper. Ah, <laughs> uh, I mean, I liked it. Um, you don't really get it much here in the Czech Republic unless you go to like one of those special American candy stores. Right. Right, uh, but right. then again, I'm one of those weird freaks of nature that likes both Pepsi and Coke. So it's, um, you know, maybe maybe my tastes in soda are just kind of wrong. <laughs> no, it's it's your pre it's your preference. Yeah, of course, of course, somewhere my father is saying you shouldn't be drinking any soda. So you know, whatever. <laughs> I don't drink soda. Right. I'm, I'm I I used to, but I don't I don't drink it anymore. Mm hmm. That's because like Ellie tea. is, yeah, that's because Ellie is smarter than me, Ellie, Ellie's students. No, no, I just, I just, uh, it doesn't quench my thirst. I prefer Oh, no, absolutely, I agree. If it's a hot day, I would drink water. But uh, mm. Pepsi and Coke are just unwind drinks for me, like, like beer is for my fellow Czechs. <laughs> and it makes me burp, and it's, I don't like that feeling. Okay, well, I don't have that problem, but... <laughs> <laughs> Washington. Yep. Olympia. Yes. The evergreen state. Mm -hmm. And it's, uh, it... <clears throat> I don't know. It's, it's one of the most dangerous volcanoes in the world. They have the Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier. Yeah. Rainier. Rainier. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, well, they also have Mount St. Helens, which, uh, of course, blew up a few years before I was born. 
And uh, you can actually go there and you can see nature recovering in real time. And uh, I think it's it's been more than 40 years now and the, like the forests are growing back and, and, you know, you start seeing green, but the volcano itself still has a huge hole in it because of the eruption. Mm -hmm. And yeah, Rainier is, is dangerous because it could cause really bad mud flows that might reach as far as uh, Seattle which is one of the major cities in the U S that would be a problem. Well, yeah, you can see Rainier from Seattle, so it, it's fairly close. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. I like Seattle. I haven't been, but it looks nice. I mean, I probably just go to the space needle and <laughs> maybe it's nice. some museums. It's nice. Yeah. I remember the people being very friendly. We're asking directions, and sure, where where do you need to go? I was like, no, they were very. Everyone seemed very happy and helpful and just friendly. It's just a nice. It was a nice feeling there. That's good. Yeah. Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Madison. Yeah. Cheesehead. Cheese. <laughs> yes, cheese. <laughs> I, I was at the airport and they had these for sale and they, I was so tempted to buy one, uh, but I didn't, but I was so tempted to. I, I, I like... It was the funniest thing I had ever yeah. seen as far as grown people, adults wearing these cheese hats. And I thought, that's hilarious. Um, I like the existential despair in his eyes. Yeah. The, uh... like, what is my life? <laughs> But they're proud to wear these things on their head. That's the funniest thing I've ever seen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, they have a lot of cheese there. I think mm -hmm. if you're from France, I think that would be a place they, if you're mm -hmm. from France, this is the place for you. You should go there. They have lots of cheeses. Oh. Actually, I, I just, types of cheese. I just suddenly realized we skipped past Massachusetts as well. If I can say a quick fact about that, that's where the sure. pilgrims landed. So the pilgrims were the colonists that are credited with the first Thanksgiving. And 10% of Americans today, including myself, can trace their lineage directly back to the Mayflower, the ship they I used. Can. You too? Okay. Yeah, for my me, 11th... it was uh, John Alden and Priscilla Mullen. That, those were the two that I can trace my lineage back to. Uh, I, uh, grandparents? Um, That's a good question. I, I think it's on my mom's side. And I think... My dad's side also had eventually some uh, pilgrims in there. But uh, yeah, my, my, my grandmother on my mom's side did a lineage and, and it went back to John Alden and Priscilla Mullen. That's all I know, which means I'm also related to a couple of the presidents because they also trace their lineage back to that couple. Wow. Yeah. I'm uh, related to Governor Bradford. Yep. He's my 11th generation no grandfather yeah yeah i mean i i think i think mom said i might be named after him so because so he might be in my family as well but um i went uh i went to to england to see uh bradford where he uh grew up i saw mm -hmm. the, the house that he grew he, his parents died when he was about six or seven years old and then he went to live with his uncle. So I saw both houses mm -hmm. uh, where he grew up. And it's amazing that here was a place that kicked him out, yep. you know, because of his religious beliefs. And now they celebrate him. <laughs> it's just sort of like, oh, come back. Mm -hmm. Welcome. <laughs> well, um, you know, I've also visited Amsterdam and I've been to the church where they prayed before they set off on the Mayflower. So... Well, because, well, they probably kicked him out because he was part of a religious group that uh, banned Christmas. The, the Puritans were like, no, you can't celebrate Christmas. And that was kind of <laughs> the last straw for the English. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, 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 I think they, the, they had a dream, they had a goal, mm. and it, it to me is amazing that that they were able to accomplish so much um that people can be amazing when they want to do something yeah 
definitely, definitely. I mean, of where course, they tended heads to go to. Are... Yeah, where cheese heads are found a, a new country that becomes a global superpower. Yeah, people can just do do <laughs> amazing things. Can you, can you imagine our forefathers coming back and saying, "What the hell? Why are you wearing what I what I really <laughs> cheese." <laughs> Something that really amuses me about modern politics in the U.S., and we're not going to get into it. This is just what amuses me: is that both sides, yeah, both sides say, "What would the founding fathers think?" And my first thought is, "Do you mean before or after they look at chairs and scream, what is this demonry?'" <laughs> you know, I, I'm sure Thomas Jefferson would have a lot to think after you convinced him you didn't just steal his soul by taking his photo. <laughs> So that's just True. always amused me when they say, what, what would the founding fathers think? <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe they look at this guy and say, this is exactly why we broke away from the British. I don't know. <laughs> that's right. Look, we have freedom to wear silly hats. <laughs> yeah, we have to wear cheese on our head. <laughs> Liberty. So there's America's Dairyland. So I, I did cut these down to quite a bit so we could fit yeah. it into this hour time slot. If you're looking for the, all of the fun facts, you can go to EnglishFunZone.com and I'll post a PPT file there that you can download and look at the rest of the fun facts from all 50 states. And I'm sure uh, Ellie wouldn't be uh, unhappy to do a sequel to this if people want to see a sequel. We could do some of the other states we didn't cover. Sure. We do part two. Yeah, Absolutely. Exactly. Why not? Why not? <laughs> so let us know what you thought about this live stream and maybe we'll do part two. That's a good idea. Yeah. Our Painful. next, yeah, but our next live stream is going to be on strange laws in the U.S. that mm. are still on the books today. They're still, they, they might not be enforced, but they're still <laughs> on the books. Uh, so we're going to do that. I think that's going to be fun. To oh, yeah. About. So the ones I know I'm very happy yeah. are not still being enforced. Let's just say that. Yeah. But I, my focus is going to be on the ones that are enforced that are still kind of out there. <laughs> okay. Um, it, it, it should be an interesting live stream. So I hope you'll come sure. back for that. And I'll post, like I said, I'll post the fun facts one at, on my website englishfunzone.com and on wednesday i've listed all of the the state capitals the states and the capitals on a short so you can you can go to the uh, the shorts tab on my page and you'll see you'll see those as well mm -hmm be fun <clears throat> excellent okay so i think that it, it that is it for today thanks so much for watching if you're mm -hmm. watching this on the replay if you have any comments or questions you can post that in the description in the comment section below not the description box the comment section below <laughs> and we're happy to we're happy to answer those Absolutely. i don't see any questions here today in the, in the live stream part but um Hopefully I'll see, or you'll see us again, not next Monday, but the following Monday on uh, March 11th at 1130, at, again at 1130. Mm -hmm. Thanks so much. Take You're care. Welcome. Remember, keep practicing. Brad, thank you for uh, being here today, and we'll see you on the 11th. As always, see you soon, Ellie. See you soon, students. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.